Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see like how to clear this order lines using this button click event. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to train the dynamic data in the POS side, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel under the playlist. You can see Odoo development label is here you can see here different types of playlist available with the different test cases including the javascript oval and the pure tutorial the development tutorial and if you want to access the source code you can visit the about page or in each single videos i already provided the source code different social media pages also available make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how to clear order lines using the button click event in the POS and all right so let's go to here in the custom add-ons this WP POS and this module we have to extend so here we have to do two, two things we have to create a one new button and that button we have to register in the JS file okay so for that like we can just use like clear all button and simple we can also copy this one let's say clear all js file and make sure that file we need to extend here and it mean the register here like still i'm getting a many comments like some files is not working and all right so due to that the simple thing is you forgot to mention in the manifest file okay so here we have to use like let's say wb clear all button right we can just use like this clear clear instead of this one clear all and simple we can copy this one and paste here as a class name and yes let me remove all the stuff for this method we can use this method and let's say after this button we have to display our this button right so that's it here and we have to extend one more thing like we can just remove this one wb clear all lines simple we can copy paste here right and method called that's it we don't need this one these two libraries right the pos component we need because we will extend like our functionality to this button right so we need this this one the product screen we have to register the button here right the registries we have to register this template into the registries and return that template and user listener is the event so the click event he like whenever we press the button right so it will listen this method and it will call automatically and we it will execute this bunch of code right so that's it and yes uh, we have to restart the service we have to go to in the point of cell we have to click to this new session and let me also inspect this element and open this console now here you can see this button is visible right once i click here you can see this console in the console you can see that print statement is available right now there is one interesting thing is let's say if you want to get the current order right from the POS so there is a one method is available so let's say current order equal to 
and here you can use this dot env then after POS and get order and once you print this one like current order plus current order or let's say we have to remove this one restart the service and if you know, don't know how to start or restart the service from the PyCharm, how to configure Odoo in the PyCharm, please check a detail level playlist I already explained. And here I will refresh the screen, remove, and now you can see this object is green, right? And once you can see here, the order lines is here. So right now you can see the length is zero, right? So here I will try to add multiple lines. Right. And now you can see we have a like one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven line is there here, right? So here, simple. So let me clear all the logs and one click here one more time and now you can see here total seven orders lines is available right and let's do one more thing once i will click to that button right so it will we will try to debug this one i will try to give you one more scenario to get the order lines so first scenario is let's say current order right dot order lines and you can see here total seven line is here this is you can directly access that field now another way is you can call the method like let's say get underscore order lines and once you click like that you can see here the same output you will receive and now using the method the current method right the existing method sorry so you can see here this remove underscore order lines the sorry the order line is available right so this method we are trying to use to clear all these orders so for that we can use like this current order dot order lines like filter select the line dot if the product is available okay then we can use here the for each and single like let's say single line and here like let's say current underscore order remove underscore order line and simple we can just use line this single line that's it and simple i will try to refresh the screen And let me close this logs console and now you can see the cart is empty right so like that way you can extend this feature now the homework is uh, let's say so by mistakenly someone clicked to this button so what happened like the customer directly like scanned a lot of products and by mistakenly they click to this button right so first thing is we need to raise the pop-up screen if they will say like yes we need to 
I want to remove all the products, then it will clear. Otherwise, it won't be clear. Okay, so this is the homework for you. And once you finish this part, please share that code in the GitHub and share that GitHub link in the comment section. So, and it will help to Odoo community. Okay, if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session.